The city of Uvalde today released thousands of documents, several videos and 911 calls from the May 24th, 2022 mass shooting at Robb Elementary School. Several media outlets, including WFAA, sued the city for access, hoping this information would provide a more clear understanding of the law enforcement response. WFAA's Richard Solomon is one of several reporters digging through everything that was released. He is in our newsroom now. So Richard, what have you learned? Well, Teresa, right now we are still looking through all the public records that were released to us just hours ago. And these records are helping us learn more about what information law enforcement agencies actually had responding to that horrific mass shooting where 19 students and two teachers were killed by an armed gunman. Now, I do want to show you some of that new body camera video right now from the moments when Uvalde police officers first got into the school and tried to get inside the room. I do want to warn you tonight, you will hear gunshots in this video. It's jarring. Take a look. Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? Am I bleeding? He's he's really in the classroom. I got me right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's in the class. Now, it was more than 70 minutes before they entered the classroom to confront the gunman. Well, we've also listened to a 911 call made from the gunman's uncle. He said he was with his nephew the night before and feared that he might be the shooter at the school. Now, it is important to note this is only the tip of the iceberg. While today's release was a result of a lawsuit settlement with the city of Uvalde, there are other suits still in litigation that are requesting the release of similar records and maybe more records from Uvalde CISD, the county, and Texas DPS. Again, we are still going through today's release and we're gonna be very thoughtful and sensitive to the families and everyone impacted by this of what we release and what we air. But coming up for you tonight at six, we'll have several 911 calls and a full report for you later on tonight here at 10. For now, live in the newsroom, I'm Richard Solomon. Teresa. Richard, thank you. We are constantly updating this story on WFAA.com. You can go there to find the very latest information about these newly released documents and videos.